what is going on guys good morning today we have a day off from the army and we're gonna be taking off not taking off but putting back in my damn head d-series head it has a new heli coil installed right there thank god because my dad jacked that one up and uh we did a lot of work cleaned up a lot right now it's kind of dirty so we're gonna give it a quick wipe down and look at this valve cover man just look at how good i did of a job on this if you saw the last video on this leave a like on it i think i did a pretty decent job on it but the goal for the day is to install the head bleed bleed out the radiator fluid and make sure everything is tightened up everything's cleaned up because i sprayed a lot of uh what is it called uh brake cleaner back there because we had a lot of oil i gotta clean up the garage I gotta make sure that this car is running 110%. I was thinking, I was debating whether or not I should already buy a turbo kit for the car, but I'm gonna go, go ahead and hold off on it. I'm gonna make sure it runs 110%. Uh, make sure that all the kinks, all the issues are figured out first, then spend the money for a turbo kit. Because right now, uh, the way the car is running and the way that it is, I'm not liking it. I absolutely love this car, but there's a few things that are really bothering me. like. The check engine light that it has over a supposedly vacuum leak we're gonna hopefully fix that today we're gonna definitely fix up some of the dampeners some of the motor mounts that are messed up we're, we need a new rack and pinion we need a new suspension because this thing rides like a it, it rides like a like a train wreck and on top of that this exhaust i think they searched up cheapest ebay exhaust on the search bar and then they bought it like that's, i really think that's what they did and i absolutely freaking hate this exhaust it sounds so bad i honestly think rice comes out of the exhaust whenever i'm driving by anyone that's how ricey it is and that's how like it, that's how bad it makes my ass itch so let's get down and dirty first thing we got to do is put the damn uh head gasket after that got to put the head on got to make sure everything fits everything's dressed right dressed and squared away so let's get right into it Alrighty, so I think we got everything lined up right now. Everything looks good. Everything's not moving. Got the intake somewhat aligned. Now, I used sweet still there. I had used, um, <laughs> I had used some uh, nail, nail paint on this right here just to make sure that everything was still aligned. I actually think I'm gonna have to adjust that. So we're gonna go ahead and wait to do that. Make sure everything's good. Can you even turn it right now? I don't think you can. But uh, okay, everything looks good. Let's go ahead and start tightening this motherfucker down. So since last time we labeled everything, everything should be pretty easy to find. Or just find the things that already, you know, there. So before we do this, we are going to search up the sequence. Where the heck is my phone? The sequence of this. Oh, there it goes. So give me one second. We're going to look for it. All right. So according to this, we got to start off from the middle. So here's number one. Here's number two. Three, There's four, four's over here. So outside going in. All right, that makes a lot of sense. Five, ah. And then six, seven, top corner. Eight, bottom left. Ooh, yep, it has it. Nine up top. And then 10, bottom right. Okay, cool. Make sure that I just want to hand tighten things right now because I don't want to work the head and then I'm going to be really screwed. I think I'm going to put on my glove actually so I can hand tighten things right now since it's very, very slippery right now.
all right boys and girls so the first thing we need to do is go ahead and torque everything down in sequence the first step that we have to take is a 30 uh, 14 foot pound 14 foot pounds right there and we got to do this in sequence make sure you do it in sequence boys and girls because if you don't you might warp your head and it's going to come out way more expensive than it should so let me see so one two guys and even though you think you're an expert always have that diagram in handy because you may never know you don't want to do something stupid and mess it up three and then four and then five and then six and then seven And then eight. And then nine. And then ten. Okay. Now the next step, I believe, is going to be 36 foot pounds on each side. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh no, 36 and then 49 and then 49. Okay, I gotta leave that open before I go crazy. All right, everything's in. Now we gotta do is go ahead and definitely gotta put this back. We gotta put the intake, exhaust, connect all these miscellaneous parts. Let's start off with the simple stuff. Let's start off by putting on the exhaust side. Should be fairly easy. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing, bada boom, bada bing, bada boom. We're gonna put on gloves because that thing heat wrap, I don't wanna be itching all damn day. And then where's my other glove? You know what, screw it. Um, oh well, I'll suck it up. No biggie. Just try to use the outside of my fingers to do it. There it goes. I don't know why it's kind of misaligned. Intake manifold. Header.
ride till I can't no more. I got the horses in the back. I'm so bored, guys. That goes the valve cover, this one. What does this one go to? Uh, I think I'm missing one. No, this oh. one, yeah, this one goes to the intake, the actual intake, and then this one goes in here. But how did, was it routed? I think through here, yeah, I think you're right. Oh yeah, you're right. No, that's a tight fit, bro. I'm gonna kick the shit out of that, bro. <laughs> yeah. Bing, bottom, boom, bitches. Got it. It just recorded, bro. I'm hungry. Long story fucking short, we got all of this shit almost put on, okay?
Vancouver. Mm hmm. Over there. Rip. That's where I get for talking shit. Bro? Yeah. From over the bottom? You fucking asshole, dude. <laughs> I fucking hate you. <laughs> Should be good to go. I don't see anything that's gonna fuck it up. I right, fuck it. Dude, goes fucking nothing. <sighs> Please, God. <sighs> I'm so fucking nervous. Yeah. Yes. I'm so fucking nervous, dude. Man, if I fucking, man, oh my god. Okay, let's go check for leaks. Uh oh. Sounds kind of weird. Uh, on our right, right at 1,000. Oh, God, thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. I would have flipped shit. But let's not talk too soon. <sighs> all right, we're going to check everything all over again. Man, I just hope this thing doesn't mess up. So we finally ate, thank God, because I was hungry as shit. We're gonna clean this engine bay up, get all this dirt, grime, all this nasty shit out of the fucking way because it is just honestly disgusting. So, let's go ahead and clean this up. Hopefully I don't ruin anything in the process. And, um, let's see, hopefully.
I'm just giving it a quick pat down so that way uh, it dries out a little bit quicker. I'll probably wash it after this. It's been sitting here for a while. It's been collecting dust and uh, kind of tired of seeing my baby dirty. All right. So hopefully this video was a little bit educational, funny. Hope to have made you laugh for a little bit. If not, oh well. Sorry I couldn't do that for you today. But guys, we finally got the car running again. It's been almost a week that this car has not ran. Uh, about a week and a half almost. And uh, I'm so happy to get this baby back on the road because uh, this is a good gas saver to be honest with you. It saves me a lot of money on gas uh, throughout the week whenever I drive it to Beaumont. But uh, hopefully the next project will be changing out the oil pan after that, getting a new exhaust after that, getting some new coilovers, making sure that this car feels, drives great. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Leave a like if you uh enjoy the video if you have any questions concerns or constructive criticism i'm more than happy to take them down in the comments down below have a good day and i'll see you later